Hey guys, and welcome back to the Saw Shop. So today we got a review basically on the Holst Farmer 660 uh, about chainsaw milling. So we talk a lot, I talk a lot. You guys barely talk, by the way. I wish you guys would talk more. Uh, we talk a lot about practical application, okay? And the whole reason I got into this whole chainsaw thing was because we chainsaw mill, okay? We provide a lot of uh, live edge beams, this type of stuff for construction companies, okay? And so last night I had a guy, uh, he, they'd bought an actual package, a cedar package for a room they were doing, uh, a local construction company. And they were adding on a room, so they needed a five by five entryway beam. Uh, he said just five foot. So it was almost six foot, the one I gave them. Uh, gives them plenty of room to cut off and do whatever they need to do. And, uh, and plus, when you're chainsaw milling, there's no telling what can go on, so you just want to do it a little bit longer. Uh, so, whittled them out of board. So, we get about, I was about 150 for that one beam, and so all the other lumber that we cut off of there, we just put in our pile, and so on and so forth. So, that one beam, like I said, about, with their package is 150. Normally, they're closer to 200 for a beam of that size. But since they had already bought a package, that's about what that one amounted to. But, so that one log would produce somewhere in the neighborhood of, let's be conservative, about $225, maybe $250 worth of lumber. So a log, log and a half, and this saw has paid for itself. We say, we talk about, you know, hey, are these saws worth it? So this particular saw, uh, we put a big bore kit in it. Uh, what has it been now? About a month and a half ago, two months? And... It's processed, I would say, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 plus logs, okay? It's more than paid for itself. If it gave it up right now, the saw is already paid for itself and uh, made some money, okay? Um, of course, it's my first milling saw was the Grim Reaper. You guys go back and check it out. It was also a host format. It started out of Blue Thunder. It is now, uh, it's been painted white and metallic gray, blah, blah, blah. It process it has processed tons and tons and tons of logs, and so has several of the other saws. So, you know, when we talk about, you know, I don't care what saw it is, OEM, Echo, Steel, uh, Husqvarna, it doesn't matter. If it's OEM, clone saw, whatever, chainsaw milling is the roughest there is on a chainsaw's life, okay? About hard to argue that fact, okay? Uh, you can take them out and work them all day long, down trees, you can buck wood, fire wood, it don't matter what it is. But a chainsaw, milling chainsaw, is the roughest life a saw can live, okay? And so this is a perfect application to show you guys, uh, you know, we talk about how long they'll last, how well the oilers do, okay, and such on. This one was milling, and we're going to go to a clip in a second. This one was milling, uh, and it's... Uh, it had a 20 inch bar on it and it was milling at one point almost 18 19 inch about 19 inches worth of uh the bar buried because there was a few pieces that i pulled off that it actually didn't quite get all the way through you know what i mean so close to 19 20 inches into the wood when i run it on the mill they have these little short logs just to protect the case uh regular handlebar wrap because of the norwood okay uh the full wrap gets in the way you can't mount it and uh, this one just has a enlarged uh, muffler mod here. Either than that, that's stock. It is a big bore 56 millimeter, so it's 98.5 cc's. And uh, it does very well. So, with it being that deep buried in the wood, we talk a lot about these oilers, how well they do. This is a standard, this is the oiler that came in it, okay? And it does very well. I mean, you, you, you guys can see right there, you'll see in a second the clips. And there's also a full uh, upload of the actual video of the milling. You guys go check it out. There's a short that's actually fast motion. It's pretty cool. Uh, so there you have it. You, uh, it, they do really good, okay? So if, if you have OEM or a clone saw, you're gonna have to work on your milling saws, bottom line. You're gonna heat them up. Uh, you can try not to abuse them. Uh, that PM14 Nor by Norwood is a really easy mill to abuse a saw on. Because you can really lean into that, that push handle, okay? 
and uh, I mean it doesn't pull through the cut guys it, it you push it through the cut it's not hard you just barely lean on it matter of fact you can there's a happy medium you just you just you can hear it you know and so uh, but that's what it is uh, so just been kind of cleaning up the, the the saw this morning and wanted to do kind of a, a quick review so we'll cut to that uh, we'll cut to that clip now guys you guys still here yep. go, go check out the clip So there you have it guys pretty good saw it did very well we talk a lot again about oilers and how well they work um you know that was buried in almost 20 inches of, of cedar uh, a lot of guys don't realize uh they talk talk a lot of schmack schmack about the uh uh the cedar i cut but if you've ever cut eastern red cedar i mean you'll see sparks fly on these things especially when you come past the knots uh it's it's no joke now is it the hardest of course not but I'm saying it's not as soft as many people think. Uh, if you are familiar with the Eastern Red Cedar, you understand that thing. It grows like a cypress. It kind of twists. It doesn't make really good uh, framing lumber. Uh, you can use it, sure, and it lasts a lot longer than, than pine, of course. Uh, but, uh, and if you do, when you let it dry, you have to stack something really heavy on it, and there's a lot of, to go into it. But, uh, so we do a lot of, of, of selling these local, and like I said, uh, this saw has already paid for itself. Just in that one application, it would have almost paid for itself. So, you know, again, I believe that these saws are a perfect application for chainsaw milling. Abuse these saws instead of an OEM, okay? Even if you're purchasing OEMs, these would be the better saw for chainsaw milling. It just would. I, this one is milled, as again, I've, I've repeated it, a good amount of logs, you know, already. I think 30, 40, I don't know. I used to log it, log it. It, it, and to each one how how many they've milled uh, I, I, I record data I believe data is really what tells us everything right guys so uh, but we'll be taking that chainsaw mill up into this spring into the Colorado mountains and doing an off-grid build uh, we've done a few and uh, it's a good time and we'll be uploading some footage on that uh, some drone footage and different stuff and so uh, but that's a great mill to take up into the remote areas man you can take the local uh, logs and turn it into uh, lumber and make a make whatever you want out of it. And so uh, we have a good time with it. Probably up pre uploads for release some foot some uh, content if you guys can watch while we're gone. And then we'll come back with a 
with a good load of uh, content for you guys. So as always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. The channel's growing. Thank you to my subscribers. You guys rock. Uh, it's a good time uh, just sharing our lives, living it, living our best life. You guys get out there and live yours. Whatever it is you guys are thinking about doing, just make it happen. If it's healthy, go get out there and do it. You hear me? And so uh, appreciate you stopping by. And as always, stay safe.